Lua. <laughs> so this is the gorgeous Rocky, huge Maine Coon. He's only two, he's only a baby, so he's still got a couple of years growing in him. Uh, so he's arrived today for a thorough groom through. And when we've had a good feel of his coat, he's not too bad on the top. It's the sides and then it's the chest and underneath. Now, he is too far gone underneath matting wise. They're too big, clumpy and solid, very close to the skin. So I'm going to have to clip his tummy and his underneath away. But because he does go outdoors quite a bit as well, obviously we didn't want to take the whole coat off and there was no need to anyway, because we've managed to comb. We've started the comb on him, as Steve's just shown you what's already on the floor. I've started with the comb using the molten comb. And uh, he's been really, really good for me here. So I'll just demonstrate what we do with the long heads because, you know, it all comes down to grooming technique. So you literally, you're going to use the molten comb with the two metal teeth alternate lengths and you're going to pull the fur up and you're going to go in and get a part line and you go in and down with the body of the cat you don't go in go down with the fur okay and you hold in here on the top and then you go in the whole full width of the comb there and when you're happy you let a little bit more of the hair go another part line and you go again And it's, you see, there's a little knot there hiding that. So we'll try and get that with the comb. Not because of the double coat. Now that's, it's just because he's long haired. Yeah. That's actually attached to quite a big mat here on the back of this leg. So I'm going to leave that one because I'm actually going to shave that one away because that's too big. Yeah, what a good boy. And you literally come up and come up and come up until you're happy that there are no more knots in this coat. Same with the bib. So we start under the bib, lift his head, and he had quite a few, lots of little ones all under his chin here. So you just put fingers under his chin there, lift his head. He loves this. And it's just going in with the comb. And this comb will grab any of the little knots and when it loosens, sometimes you just pull them with your fingers out. I've actually already done these and they came straight out for me. So the top I'm happy with, I can feel there are solid ones under here. There is a big one here. Where is it, mister? Oh, it's solid, that one. Okay, so this is a pelt under here. So that is one big lump of solidness there. So there's no way you can attempt to groom that way. That's going to have to be clipped. So we'll, what we'll do, we'll fluff this bit of his bib up, clip underneath, and then at least he'll have this to go over the top. So it won't show as much. And literally, that is what you'll do over the whole coat. And it does take a while. So I always say, if you imagine cutting your cat into quarters, and if they're not the most patient on the grooming table, do a quarter at a time. And when you're happy that, that that quarter is totally clear of knots, then you can move on and do another section another day. If you can do half the cat one day and half the next, brilliant. But his coat has already changed an awful lot. He's so super smooth already. He's already getting the sheen coming through. And it's because a lot of the dead fur has come away that was trapped in there. So the most difficult places to concentrate on for any long haired cat is the flanks here, because it's where they're lying. So here really is the worst part for rock. And again, I've done this little bit of the back end here, I'm just about to start now. Hello. I know Rocky. So again, we're gonna just go in, we're gonna part the coat, and we're going to go in at the bottom. Now I know there's mats here, I can feel them already. So we're going to go slowly, feeling for those mats. 
here they are and you're just going to tease and tease and tease and eventually they will start to loosen there you go and it's the dead hair coming away good boy good boy yeah you've been a good boy for me you are being a good boy so you can actually tell by the comb looking at them here this is the comb bit see how smooth it is this is the bit we've still and we've done this little bit here it's this middle section now i've got to tackle and you can tell the difference can't you in the fur how dry that looks and it's thick because it's full of these extra thick bits that we need to thin away yes oh should you get that fluff off your legs yes rocky you're super aren't you those whiskers yes I know right let's carry on then is that that big one you were talking about me yeah it's huge yeah it's quite tight uh, very tight you're a good boy Rocky what's a good boy hey. really trusting having your face that <laughs> Whiskers, do I? Mm, don't want those whiskers, and I'm trying to keep some bib. Oh, I think he's enjoying that coming off. Yeah. He's got his eyes shut, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Good lad, almost. You'll be able to have a wash soon, won't you? You mustn't be able to breathe with all that on, must you? No, it's like having a straight jacket. Yeah. Boy, Rocky. What Look a good boy. that bit, yeah. There you go. So what's the other side? Like? So, I mean, it looks like normal coat. But then underneath it's a pelt, so it's it's rock hard. You can't you can't pull it. Yeah, you know, full strength trying to pull that. So there's no way you would get no no way you'd get a cone through it. Uh, it's just of course the front bib. There's food, water when they're out. Uh, you know it, it can easily get matted with the movement. It is a case of grooming with that molten comb, the metal comb every day and checking that your cat's clear. More down there, isn't there? We'll just target that belly in a minute, won't we, mister? Well, that must feel much nicer already having that off. Yeah. Ooh, is that nice? We can have a little a little scratch, can't we now? Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, good boy. So he's got quite a few under here. Good boy. All right, baby cakes. You stay still for me. Hey, what a good boy you are. Model student, isn't he? Hey. Oh, lucky. What a good boy you are here. Good boy. 
There you go. Good luck. Good boy. So I said before, he is badly matted under here. So I'm going to take this belly off. You good boy, look. Are you alright? You happy there? Hey, you alright there? You're a good boy. You are a good boy. You are. We're helping, aren't we? Get rid of all these nasties. Mm -hmm. All these nasties here in your coat. I think he's watching this water sometimes, isn't he? Is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sleep easy, relax. That that yeah. yeah. Is that what's doing it, Rob? You falling asleep? Yeah. He's in a spa, isn't he? Hmm. So he's got quite big ones here. There's a lot of coat to tackle here, mister, isn't there? Right. So these are bad here as well. These are all mats here around this armpit. So I'm just going to pull this leg forward just to get under here and down the back of this leg. It's just where all the movement is. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're a good boy, aren't you? Hey. There he is. There you go. <laughs> so he's a rock. <laughs> he's been ever so good. So he's had a full belly clip in between the hind legs. He had some quite nasty pelts around the back of his front legs, a big one up under his chin here, under on his chest. So, I mean, he's pretty bald under there, but you can hardly, when his bib's down, you can't see, but we couldn't uh, do anything else but take that off. So he's got the bib to hide him. <laughs> But there's a ton of fur on the floor. So that's come away with the groom as well. So he's had a lot of de thinning because his coat was ever so thick. And uh, we're just literally finishing him off with the old faithful. And he likes this, don't you, babies? Hey. Oh, he's a good boy, aren't you, boobs? Yeah, you are a good boy. Look at that lovely face and those lovely whiskies. Hmm? Very good. Love the Maine Coons. Yes, you big gentle giants, aren't you? Hey? So, if anybody likes these type of videos, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And then every time we put a pussy cat onto the channel, you'll get the latest videos. Oh. <laughs> yes. And I see more pictures of people like you, wouldn't they? Pussycats like you, mister. They will. Yes. And also, um, any of the products I've used, I always list under the description below. And again, we've got um, our own cat channel now, selling merchandise. So if you want to go and take a look at that, again, the link is below. There, should we put you back in your basket? Hey, such a good boy, aren't you? Such a good boy, you are. Look at these whiskers. 